Hello and welcome to this Archaeos Media Master Tutorial. Today we are going to show how to do an edge blending of projectors using the Archaeos Video Mapper. You need Media Master 5.1 or newer to use this feature. First of all connect all the projectors to your computer Mac or PC. Start Archaeos Media Master. Check if your application is in Video Mapper mode. You can simply check that the Video Mapper LED is blue in the status area of Media Master. If the video mapper LED is not on you must go to the Preferences Windows, Output tab, and switch to the video mapper mode. Media Master will need to restart to apply this change. To open the video mapper select the video mapper entry in the Edit menu. In the video mapper start a new file. The first step is to create a group of your projectors. Simply drag and drop one projector on the top of each other. Check if the arrangement is correct. If not drag the displays to the right place. Let's start the geometrical correction. Enable the geometric correction test pattern. To align the pattern we will temporarily set the width of the overlap region to zero. We do that by going to the correction tab and setting the width slider to zero. We check that the width is zero on both monitors. Now we can display again our alignment pattern. Increase the grid density to the desired amount. This will help you to have a more precise correction. You can go back to this step at any time in the process. Now click on the correction tab. Enable the geometric correction. Align now your grid horizontally and vertically. You can multiply the correction points if needed. Still, try to make your correction with the minimum points. Here you see that the top and bottom horizontal lines are aligned. But we still need to align the lines in the middle of the screen. We will do this by adding a control point on the left projector. Here we add an horizontal control point on the geometry. And now we can move this new control point to perfectly align the lines. Let's start now with our blending. Click on the side of your projector that needs to use a soft edge. It's best to set the curve to zero during this step to see completely the lines. Use the slider to set the width of the soft edge. The blend width is the number of pixel of the overlap region. You may need to go back to the geometrical correction if needed. We will now set the curve value to correct the soft edge brightness. Change your pattern to color correction to help you with this step. Select now the curve value to finalize your blend. Note that the default value of the curve is 1. You may optionally correct the brightness contrast and RGB gamma setting per display to fine tune your installation. Enjoy now all the great features of the Archaos Video Mapper on top of a perfect blending. We can now use the group as a single virtual output where we can create many surfaces. We create a first surface that we position on the left. We duplicate it to position a second one on the right. Now we duplicate a third one to place it in the center.
We will now rename the surfaces. We name them center, left and right. Those names will be displayed in Media Master once you close the video mapper. Back in Media Master sending a layer to output index 0 means sending to all outputs. We now want to map our left, right, center surfaces to output indexes 1, 2 and 3. We click on output and select the DMX tab where we can assign the indexes for left, right, center. Now using output indexes 1, 2 and 3 sends the layer to the left, right, center surface. We can use three layers to send different content to each surface. Thank you for watching this tutorial on the edge blending feature of the Arceos Video Mapper.